These recent storms have left so many tri-state homes with major damage. And what are the steps, though, needed to get those repairs done? Jeff Head is here. He's got shingles on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> the busiest man in Evansville right now. I mean, my gosh, Jeff, you've got to be going crazy. Oh, I am going crazy. Feels like an alligator on every limb of my <laughs> body doing a death march. I'm just trying to keep my head above water. It's uh, crazy. Well, what are you seeing out there as far as damage? I mean, we've seen a lot of, of course, news vid video, but what are you seeing uh, when you're out there? Well, a, a lot of a lot of trees, of course, on houses. Right. And um, the bad thing about this is the storm came through and then it knocked all the trees down on houses. And then everybody, the tree, the tree guys got busy. We've gotten busy. And there's not a whole lot you can do until you get the tree, uh, get the tree off the house, because you can't, you can't tarp, you can't tarp over the tree. <laughs> right. And, uh, well, good point. <laughs> and then, but yeah, what ha what has to happen is first, you, the first thing you need to do is get hold of your insurance company, um, uh, so they can get an adjuster online to come out there. But the adjusters can't do anything till the tree's off the house. So uh, that's the most important thing is get on a tree services, um, you know, get on their list, get your trees taken off the house um, so that the adjuster can, can see his part. But what we can do, we can go ahead and tarp. We can tarp the roof to basically stop the bleeding because of all the rain that we've had. And um, then what we can do, we can meet the adjusters out there and we can pull the tarp off and, you know, help them see the damage. But a lot of times they can already know. They can see it. Probably, and, yes, because they've seen uh, it before. Well, now you have some shingles in your lap or some roofing, and it's, this is an interesting discussion. So what is this top okay. shingle about? Now, okay, as for, okay so the, the stuff that we have been doing are uh, mostly trees have come down on the house. They have broken the rafters and the decking, or some of the tree limbs have just uh, gotten the edge of the house and have damaged the soffit and the face and the gutters. Um, we was just got done talking, and there are two types of shingles. Now, this one here, when uh, we just got done talking about when Ike came up here through the hurricane winds, came up here in 2008. At that point in time, there was a lot of roofs that still had this type of shingle mm -hmm. on it. This is what they call a three-tab. Um, so that means that every tab, every tab is a foot apart. And is, I mean, they used them for years. But what happens is that wind will will hit this thing and it will bend it catch back. Catch it, right? It will catch it and it will bend it back. Now, like I said, back in 2008, um, we, there were still a bunch of those on there. Uh, we replaced a lot of roofs. Like we said, we had like 3,900 phone calls and wow. <laughs> the hike went through and then yeah. the ice storm in 2009. Um, so that's three tab is what's on there now. Now I guarantee you, if you've got one of them still on your roof, you have had someone knock on their, on your door and tell you that they, you possibly got some storm damage and we can, uh, Get that done for you. Now be careful the people <laughs> be come careful. knocking on your door. So Jeff, you got about 30 seconds okay. to tell us about this. This here is the new shingle that is on almost all, all the houses. It is a uh, lifetime dimensional. Now that three tab shingle, they was guaranteed for like 60, 70 miles per hour shingles. This new shingle that everybody is installing for the last 15, 16, 17 years is a dimensional shingle and it is one solid. It is solid ah, piece. That, clever. That three tab was 36 inches. This one, these here are like 39 inches, and they have improved these things. Um, there's a, a tar seam all the way across the bottom of it, and we're not seeing a whole lot of these will blow it off because they're doing their job. If you put the right amount of nails in them, these will guarantee, they're guaranteed to hold with a stand 110 to 130 mile per hour wind ratings. And right now I'm seeing that these here are living up to their hype. That's what we need. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. We'll be back with more lifestyles, and you can take a vacation next week. Don't go away.